Hi everyone, welcome to Acad Boost, the place where you get India's most authentic advice for students. And today we are going to talk about computer science or anyone interested in coding. All right. So this is a very very debated topic among students. Ki which is the best competitive coding platform? Uh, some people say ki yar Code Chef acha hai. Kuch log kehte hai Code Force hai. Some people say Hacker Rank kar lo. Kuch log kehte hai ki uh, SPOJ kar lo. And is tarah ki bahut sari advice float hoti hai. Okay. So I am going to tell you. that which platform is the best for what all right and it's not that one platform is going to be the answer as usual and there is no single platform which can ensure that you become a great coder you become a great competitive programmer and it's mostly your hard work all right so let's begin so let me tell you that these platforms are meant for different people okay you cannot start on one platform uh, if you are a beginner and you cannot have one platform as a end game okay so First of all, I would say that if you are a beginner, if you don't know coding, or if you have little experience in coding, then I would really recommend you to go for Hacker Rank. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of beginner programmers have got a lot of uh, problems with syntax and stuff like that. Like they make very simple mistakes, which are like like some rookie mistakes. Okay. So the thing about Hacker Rank, the thing I love about Hacker Rank is that they have completed most of the methods in the code themselves. All right, wherever it is needed, and you just have to implement a function. This is not really supported in a lot of other platforms like in SPOJ or even in Code Forces. You you usually don't get uh, all like you have to write the entire code by yourself. All right. Uh, so Hacker Rank is going to teach you. So it will remove all that burden from your head that you have to take care of every declarations and all. And a lot of beginner or noob or <laughs> novice programmers are not very good at that. All right. So that is what I recommend. But if you are beginner, you should definitely go for Hacker Rank. Okay. There are a lot of Really, really good exercises over there for uh, getting a hang of a particular language like C plus plus or Python or Java or whatever you want to learn. All right. Now, if you are, uh, if you are a very seasoned programmer, if you are preparing for let's say coding interviews, or so. All right. So, uh, so let's talk about those preparing for coding interviews first because that is what we all strive for, right? So, if you are preparing for coding inter interviews, especially of product based companies, then you should definitely check out Lead Code. Okay. Lead code. The thing about lead code is that it it's got a lot of problems from previous uh, like interviews of different companies. Okay, and when uh, and a lot of people who are working in companies like Google and Facebook have recommended that to me as well. Uh, that you know this is the best platform, and and they have got a very good collection of problems. So if you're preparing for coding interviews, I think you should go for lead code. Okay. Now, if you if you want to practice some really high level computer programming stuff, you want to compete, you want to build a good competing profile for yourself. Then I would say you should go for either Code Forces or Code Chef. Okay, I personally like Code Forces a bit more because I think it's a bit tough, and because a lot of my friends are on Code Forces as well. So that is what you should try if you want to build a competitive programming profile. Okay, because when you talk about these competitions, then people usually see your Code Forces level or at times your Code Chef levels. Okay, uh, so that's what I recommend. If you want to just have a bit of practice, if you just want to have fun. Then I think SPOJ is a great platform. All right. Uh, so a lot of problems are available even on other uh, platforms like Code Forces or Code Chef. But you don't want that Code Forces pay sub cheese kar rahe ki uh, contests are also being fought on Code Forces and you're also practicing on Code Forces. I would not recommend. Like uh, there's no issue in that, but probably you would like to have a diverse portfolio. That I also have a profile on uh, Hacker Rank where I've done these 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 tracks. I also have a profile on Code Forces where I'm these many stars or I have that this color code with myself. You want to be on Code Forces, uh, Code Chef as well? Because I have these many stars on Code Chef, Code Chef, and SPOJ maybe because I have solved these many problems. All right, so this is a very diversified portfolio. So the interviewer will think that yeah, this guy has got a lot of uh, potential and a lot of uh, like that. Like this is a diverse guy. That's what he will think. Uh, so yeah, that's what I say. And for coding interviews, I think Lead Code is the leader. Like it is. uh the de facto place where you should go according to me all right so i think this video cleared up a lot of confusion about that all right so this was based on my opinion what i think of these platforms you can uh, comment what you think of these platforms and where you do your computer programming all right so stay subscribed to our channel for more advices on computer science coding uh, placement interviews and a lot of other things we will also make videos on other stuff like web development or machine learning data science and all of that stuff all right So I hope you have a nice day, and I hope you liked our video. Uh, all the best. There are a lot of uh, books and uh, articles in the description which you can access. So don't forget to check it out. If you have got any queries, if you want to connect with me, you can check me out on Instagram at kalpit dot virwal, which is also given in the description. Uh, all the best. Have a nice day.